I want to install the latest version of Magic Lantern on my Canon 50D, so I'm going to turn on the camera and I intend to format the card on it. So if I go to the menu and and it's actually important that you format the card as opposed to just deleting the files on it. Once we go to the format menu, press OK. And it's just looking through the files and then it will tell you whether you want to remove Magic Lantern. So here if you press the function key, you have the option to keep Magic Lantern or format the card and including deleting magic lantern so just so that you're aware of it you do have the option by pressing the function key I want to remove magic lantern and copy the new version of magic lantern onto the card so I'm going to press ok remove magic lantern all data will be lost so now if we go to Look at the firmware version. You can see it's still ma Magic Lantern. Let's switch it off and turn it back on and see what comes on. So now you can see that the version has changed. There's no longer Magic Lantern. I have formatted the CF card on my Canon 50D. So now I'm going to go to the Magic Lantern website and download the latest version of Magic Lantern for the 50D and hopefully copy the files across to, to my camera. So I'm going to the download section and then experiments. And here, if you look across here, there should be a Magic Lantern release for the 50D. Okay, so that's the latest one that I can see. Let me just check if there's any other ones. Did I, did I miss one here? Yeah, okay. So there's one on the 28th of December 2020. That seems to be the latest one. So I'm going to download it. And there it is. Let me make my window a bit smaller. I'm going to drag it to my desktop just so that's easier to work with and extract the files. So this is everything that's in the Magic Lantern folder. So I'm mm -hmm. going to copy across all these three files to the CF card on my camera. So I've connected my camera with a USB cable to this computer. And let me just copy these, copy. And if I go to my computer, Canon EOS 50D, I'm going to click on it and you'll see the CF card there. Click on it and it doesn't let me paste. That's interesting. On the left hand side, I have the Magic Lantern files, as you can see. And on the right hand side, it's my CF card. So I'm going to drag these across and it's giving me a warning. Okay, that's interesting. It didn't actually let me copy any of the files is really strange. 
you can't copy magic lantern files across to the CF card when the CF card is inside the camera so you definitely need to use a card reader of some sort so I'm going to copy these files from the computer and onto the CF card. So this is the CF card and the CF card is inserted in the card reader so it's not in the camera. It's important to know that you won't be able to copy any files across to your CF card as long as the CF card is in the camera and that's something that Canon does intentionally. I've loaded the magic lantern files on this CF card which I'm going to put back into the camera and close the door and just a reminder that my battery should be fully charged now so I've fully charged it so that we can do the installation of magic lantern I'm gonna turn on the camera and go to the menu and you can see the firmware version there that's the default Canon firmware and it's important that you have the latest version which is 1.0.9 before you install Magic Lantern so if I press OK here it says battery level is too low cannot update my battery level is actually full I think it's an old battery and it's not reading it correctly so I'm going to switch to another battery and try it again. I have a fully charged battery which I'm going to use now so that we can do, I'll do the update for the magic lantern. So if I go to the menu and go to the place where it says the software version and press OK and it tells you what the current version is and then I press OK so if we check the menu again I think I was a bit too quick to press the menu button but as you can see it's made the changes and it's asking us to restart the camera so I'm going to switch off the camera and then switch it back on again so if I press the menu again now then you can see the version of Magic Lantern that is installed so let's take off the menu and I don't have a lens on this camera right now, but you can see that this is the view of the video. So I'm going to take this off again, press the, the trash can button, that should take you to Magic Lantern. And it has all the options that you can go through. So I'm particularly interested in the video recording option. So press the function. It only seems to give us two options, either 1080p at 30 frames per second or 640 by 480. And you have the option to do an FPS override. I haven't tried that yet. But if you need more frames per second, that might be something to test. seems to be a lot more options I had a old version of Magic Lantern and there was substantially less options there I 
And the nice thing about Magic Lantern is that you can always go to that the option with info and get a list of items on how you use them. And the same thing happens if you if you're going through any menu option, you have this button, the info button at the at the bottom of the camera. So if you press that, it should give you a little bit of a help about that item. Now, incidentally, this item doesn't seem to have any help. But let's go to something that maybe has something to help. So zebras, let's see if it has help or no. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure why there's no help files for any of these. 